studies show that what to serve for supper is listed as one of the top sources of daily stress. Well, not anymore. That is, if you're ready to think big. Three busy moms from Alberta have gained a lot of attention with their national best-selling book, The Big Cook. So if you're wondering what to cook for supper tonight, allow me to introduce you to Laura Lee Thomas, Deanna Siemens, and Joanne Smith. Welcome, ladies, to 100 Hudley Thank Street. Thank you. What is this recipe called? This is Zippy Pork Chops. And zippy Pork Chops. It is, yeah. Sounds and good. it's a, a quick example of something you can make months ahead and freeze and pull out the night before you need to barbecue or go to the cabin or lake or anything. All the work is done. Now, I want to just say that um, we enjoyed having you on Full Circle last Friday, and so many viewers are already familiar with your book and, and the way it's broken down. But the portion sizes in your book are measured out to feed different sizes of families. Is that right? You've got it broken down to a one meal size, right. Laura Lee? Yes. Uh, we have, and each meal feeds four to six people, so we okay. consider it to be a family meal. And uh, you can do in the cookbook, you can do one meal, four meals, six meals, or eight meals. See, they're easy recipes. And this is a really good example, you'll see, that it's just a few ingredients, but it's so easy to make four okay. instead of just one. And the, really, the beauty of this recipe is that as it thaws, so you take it out maybe a couple days ahead, as it thaws, it marinates, and mm. all the spices and the flavors sink into the meat. And when you barbecue it, it's full of flavor, and okay. you'll understand why it's zippy pork chops. It's so you, you thought, you need to stress, though, for pork chops especially, you thought in the fridge. You should be thawing um, any frozen food okay. in the fridge so that it isn't at room temperature for more than two hours. So it is a good idea to give yourself a day or two to okay, let now it thaw. The girls are at work here already and you know what I can smell. Oh mm. these delicious oh, it's a good spices recipe. smell delicious. So we've got in the recipe what are we using? Soy sauce, cooking oil, uh, lemon pepper seasoning. Yep, lemon pepper seasoning. We've got some garlic, minced garlic, mm -hmm. and some Montreal steak spice. And this forms the marinade okay. that is going to go into the bags of pork chops. Now we've got the bags of pork chops pre measured into usually about two, one and a half to two pounds per okay. meal, which is the family size. And again, meal. one meal feeds four to six four people. Four to six people, yeah. Okay. You can actually push it for whatever size you want. If you don't have kids at home, mm -hmm. you can freeze it into, you know, two or two pork chops per bag. Or if you've got a bigger family, just make a, mm -hmm. a bigger, everything freezes. So you can. And the beauty of it is you can take as many bags out of the freezer as you need. Absolutely. So you can Absolutely. cook for more people if it's a surprise, you know, honey, I'm, tomorrow night we're having 10 people over. So, okay, <laughs> I'll take extra bags out. That's a really you know, good advantage to it then. You notice how fast we did four meals. Yeah. It doesn't take a whole lot longer to do four than Wow, so you're one. feeding, wow. with all of these, you're feeding approximately 16 people. That would be 16 people. people. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. This is, these recipes are very simple, too. What I like about the recipes is the ingredients you can find at your local grocery store. You really don't have to visit a gourmet store, do we, you? We often to say. To find the ingredients. We often say you can pronounce all the ingredients. Yes, yes. And again, the, the concept of the book. What is the concept and the purpose of your book? Because it's a different cookbook than others that it's you see at the store. Different. I like the yeah. word concept. When you say concept, because that's it's not just another cook but it is a cooking concept where we can help people to get organized ahead of time as you see now the mess is done there's some dishes to do up there but now next time you go to eat you don't have to be measuring out and washing those dishes it's done you just take that out and you barbecue it mm -hmm. so like Laura Lee said you do it's just as fast to do as to do eight as it is to do one. So it organizes you and ultimately then mm -hmm. will decrease stress because you're not all worried about do I have the ingredients, yes. what do I have, what am I going to make for supper, I think I'll go take a zippy pork mm. chop out. And if you forgot to take it out and thought for a couple days you could put it in the microwave and mm -hmm. thought mm -hmm. to get it on the barbecue. Um, you know what, I so appreciate this because I don't know if there are other moms out there like me but so many days I think to myself, I get up in the morning and think, oh, what am I going to cook for supper mm -hmm. tonight? Now, you've got recipes that can go in the crock pot as yes, well, we that what, can cook yeah. all day. What we do is we spend one to day together as friends, and we will make 200 to 250 meals that day. So we'll go home with laundry baskets with wow. 60 meals each that go in the freezer. They're not cooked, they're just prepared. The next three to four months, you don't have to go shopping, worry what's for dinner. You go to your freezer, take out the meal, Put it into the slow cooker, yeah. the wok, the barbecue, or the oven. All the work is this. done in one day.